Hey guys, YouTuber 100 here. Alright, and as I continue my Pixar reviews, here I am with another movie review. Here's my review of A Bug's Life. Yeah, so, this movie, it is a good movie, yeah. This one, this has always just been a Pixar movie that I really never been that into. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, this is just one of the movies that I really, like, wasn't, like, obsessed with, like, I was. Toy Story movies, Monsters, Inc., yeah, and some other Pixar movies, yeah. This is just, like, one of my, the ones I really like, was never crazy for. Yeah. But not to say it's bad. I mean, this is still a good movie. Just not necessarily one of my favorite Pixar movies. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Before I talk about anything about the movie, I'm pretty sure, like, just about all you want me to comment on, like, the stuff with, like, the Katzenberg and controversy surrounding this. So, yeah. A lot of people have really talked about it. About it, like I saw it in Nostalgia Critics Disney Summer Review for this movie. Yeah, so yeah, a lot of people have talked about it. I'm just gonna try to keep it as at as much of a minimum as I can. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Katzenberg, who was actually the he was the chairman of Disney's film division for a long time. He decided to leave Disney in, like, 1994, after, like, the CEO of Walt Disney Company, his second-in-command, had died. And, yeah, Katzenberg was, was denied the pro being promoted to the president of the company. So, yeah, Katzenberg, like, like, had a fallout with the with the CEO and that just led to Katzenberg leaving Disney in 1994 and yeah he went to start up DreamWorks with like Steven Spielberg and David Geffen and so yeah and yeah like Mr. Alfredick said in his review yeah Katzenberg felt that he owned the idea of the CG bug movie so yeah he went to DreamWorks to make Ants, as this movie was already in production. So, yeah. Yeah, and plus, yeah, both Ants and A Bug's Life were released just about the same time. Yeah, I mean, Ants was released a little bit earlier, but yeah, A Bug's Life was still... Yeah, it wasn't that long before A Bug's Life was still released, so yeah. As far as the, the two movies go, like I said, I really haven't been crazy about either one really but I but I do like a bug's life more yeah I mean I haven't I just I only saw ants like maybe a couple of times when like I was a little kid and I really didn't like it and I just really haven't gone back to it since I have liked a bug's life more oh yeah and plus yeah I really don't think Katzenberg really should have done that and what he did, and yeah, just make his own CG animated bug movie, yeah, I mean, because, yeah, this film was already in production when he decided to start up DreamWorks and do production on Ants, so yeah, even though Ants was really released before this movie, I really consider Ants to be the ripoff since this was in production first. Yeah. So yeah, another time where the ripoff have, has actually come up before the original in words of the nostalgia critic. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, just wanted to talk a little bit about that, because, yeah, I'm sure a lot of you want me to comment on that. So, yeah. I do, so, yeah, I do like this one more than Ants. So, yeah. Okay, but now, okay, getting back to A Bug's Life. Yeah. Like I said, I've never really been too crazy about this movie. I remember, like, when, when it was first released, I was really, like, even when I was a little kid, I really just wasn't, like, really, like, that didn't care very much about it. Yeah, I, I remember, like, I was a little bit, I was, like, kind of upset with the, at about this movie, when it was first released, because, yeah, since it was, like, it, it was Pixar's second movie, yeah, I was, like, worried, 
read about this, like, because since I love Toy Story so much, I was worried about maybe this, like, maybe overshadowing Toy Story and this, like, getting, like, more of a, like, more love out of people, and yeah, I was just worried about that happening, but luckily, really throughout the years, it didn't, so yeah, but yeah, I'm not really, like, really, like, hard on the movie, movie, yeah, I mean, yeah, I really haven't, like, done anything to hate on this movie, because yeah, I mean, it, it isn't, it isn't a bad movie, just, like I said, it's, it just really isn't one of my favorites of the Pixar films, but yeah, it is still a good movie. I would give this probably 3.25 stars out of 4. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Ants had, like, a really good cast. It had, like, Woody Allen, Danny Glover, Sylvester Stallone, Christopher Walken, yeah. It had, like, that, yeah. This movie, the cast here, it isn't as good as it, Ants, but, yeah. You still have, like, a... Uh, kind of a decent cast to it. Have like Kevin Spacey, Julia Louis Dreyfus, Hayden Pantier, and yeah, I think this was actually one of her first roles. Yeah, had Dennis Leary, he Bonnie Hunt. Yeah, so yeah, not as good of a cast of actors as Ants, but yeah, it is still a pretty decent cast here. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So. I really don't have, like, very much to say about it, because, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just not a film that I could really, like, talk about that much, because, yeah, I'm just, I'm not really too crazy for it, but, yeah, it is a good movie, yeah, so, yeah, let me just get right into it. Alright, so the film opens up with the colony of ants, and they're, like, getting food together for, we later find out, was actually, like, a col and you have grasshoppers, or just a gang of grasshoppers, and yeah, we see like an ant named Flick, and yeah, he's kind of like the odd one out from the ants, like, he doesn't really like fit in, and he's always like causing trouble, it's not intentional, yeah, he's like, he's trying to fit in, and he's just trying to help, but yeah, everything he does, yeah, we've seen this before, it's just like he, but all he does is just make trouble of all when he tries to help, and yeah, everyone just like doesn't like him and just wants him to go away. Yeah, we've seen this stuff before. And so, yeah, and he made like a, yeah, he made like some kind of invent, like is like some kind of a a would-be inventor, and he comes up with something to try to, try to, like, harvest grains, but, yeah, all it did, like, he, his invention would throw it, and it would just, like, fall on other ants, and, yeah, it would be, like, on the, like, one of the princess ants, Ada, Ada, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, the queen of the ants, ants who would be was obviously at his mother she was like trying to teach her how to be a queen then she the she would soon be the queen of the colony and also the well Ada, Ada had a younger sister aunt named Dot uh, and yeah and with Dot like she was trying she would always try to fly but she'd be too small to fly and yeah her mother would just tell her that, that, and yeah, and throughout this movie, Dot just kept trying to learn how to fly, but what I'm, like, confused with is that she's an ant, I mean, ants don't fly, or is there, like, a type of ant that actually can fly, I mean, if there is something, like, if I'm missing anything about that, please tell me down there, because, yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't know anything about that. I mean, I could com be completely missing if there's some type of ant that does fly, so if there is, just tell me down there. So, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Flick just was being... being, like, con like, saying that his invention was bad and stuff. Uh, and, yeah, like, all the rest of the ants didn't like his invention. But Dot went up to Flick, and she was telling 
him that she liked his invention. And yeah, throughout this movie, like, like there's a connection between Flick and Doc throughout the movie. So yeah. And then yeah, then yeah, as I said, the ants were like getting together some food, food for the gang of grasshoppers. Cause yeah, the grasshoppers would appear like at the end of every season, as they say, say, and get food from the colony of ants. Yeah. And then yeah, then the ants then and could like discover that the grasshoppers were coming, so they hid down in their ant hole. And then yeah, and then yeah, Flick was trying to get into, but yeah, as he like threw off his invention from his back, he accidentally knocked all of the food that he had gotten for the grasshoppers, and it fell into the water. Yeah, then Flick went down to the ant hill. He tried to like tell Oh at all what happened. Um, but then yeah. Then the grasshoppers then arrived and they saw that the food was gone. On. And then yeah, then the grasshoppers then went down down into the ant hole. Yeah, they just broke in. And yeah, they tried to look for the for the food down there. And then, yeah, then the grasshoppers, well, yeah, the, the, like, the leader of the grasshoppers, Hopper, who was voiced by Kevin Spacey, see, like, he was confronting the ants, and then, yeah, then he was just, like, trying to intimidate the ants, and then, yeah, more grasshoppers came down, and it scared Dot, she tried to run off, but then Hopper grabbed Dot, and, yeah, he was, like, slowly, like, bringing her closer to or grasshoppers, and then, yeah, Flick then stuck up for Dot, just telling Hopper to leave her alone. And then, yeah, then Hopper eventually let Dot go, and yeah, then he just told the ants that by the end of the season, then they want double food. Food. As compensation. And then, yeah, then Flick tried to tell the other ants that they need like they need like bigger bugs to help them fight off of the grasshoppers and yeah then Flick wanted to go find some other bugs to help fight them off and yeah then yeah the other ants agreed and it was just to get Flick to leave even yeah they would be free of trouble and yeah and as Flick took off uh, you could hear like all the other ants cheering. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then there were like just like a few kids like telling Ink Flick like what their fathers would act how long he had. Yeah, they were saying just telling him like how long their fathers give them. And yeah, and of course Dot was there and yeah, she was still like just sticking up for Flick, telling the other kids that what could get help. Yeah. yeah. Then, yeah, we saw then the group of the circus bugs performing at na the circus. Yeah, and the circus was owned by just P. P. Flea. Yeah, who was obviously just a flea, and he was voiced by John Ratzenberger, who also voices him in the Toy Story movies, and yeah, he's voiced like a lot of characters in Pixar movies. Yeah. And yeah, we just saw all of the the circus bugs, yeah, of course we saw Heimlich the Caterpillar. Yeah, there was like Francis the Ladybug, who was voiced by Dennis Leary. We have Manny the Praying Mantis. This and Gypsy, who was a gypsy moth. Uh, Oh, yeah, and, yeah, they're rosy, black widow spider, yeah, they're just, like, yeah, and also, like, tuck and roll, who were, like, the pill bugs, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, they had, like, all the circus bugs, and then, yeah, and when, like, the circus act just, like, doesn't bring the, like, just ends up failing their circus, this PT just decides to dismiss all of the bugs, Bugs. 
and then yeah, and then Flick, then as he was going past like the big city of Bugs, Bugs, yeah, he then found the, the circus Bugs, and yeah, then he was just he was saying that he was looking for some quote unquote warrior bugs <laughs> to help take out grasshoppers. And then yeah, then the circus bugs like put on an act that they were warriors and then Flick then and really thought they were warriors. And at the same time the circus bugs thought that Flick was a talent agent and just like like looking in for like people with talent well bugs with talent. Yeah, so they agreed to go with Flick back to his ant colony. On the, on the ant island, yeah. And then, yeah, Flick took them back to the colony. Colony. And, yeah. And, yeah, Flick was just telling all the ants that they were the warrior bugs that could help them um, get rid of the grasshoppers. And yeah, then, yeah, the bugs then saw that, that it will, like, Flick's not looking for, like, talent, but he was really meaning he was looking for people to help take out grasshoppers, and then, yeah, Flick then also realized that they were actually circus bugs and not actual warriors. And yeah, then, yeah, the circus bugs tried to leave. Eve. But then, yeah, Flick was trying to get them not to to stay, and at the same time, like Ada was trying to like see what was actually going on. Yeah, yeah, there was kind of like yeah, like Flick was like wanting to impress Ada or something. Yeah, there was like kind of a relationship with them going on, and yeah. Anyway, yeah, and the circus bugs then were, like, trying to leave, and then, yeah, but, yeah, they got, like, forced back to the colony after there was a bird that was going after the group, going after them, yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah, the bugs were just, like, trying to, like, dodge the bird and just, like, lure the bird away. Okay. And, yeah, then, and Dot, like, out broke into it, and then, yeah, Dot was actually saved by Francis. Francis, yeah. And then, yeah, then, yeah, eventually they were able to get away from the bird by hiding in, like, a thorn bush. And then, yeah. And then after the, all the ants saw what the circus bugs did, they all were applauded for them. Yeah. And then, yeah. Through the insistence of Flick, they decided to continue their act of being warriors, warriors, so that they could have the attention and hospitality of the ants. And then, yeah, and then, yeah, Flick then <laughs> learned from Ada that Hopper is actually afraid of birds. And so, yeah, then Flick came up with the idea to and create a fake bird in order to scare away the grasshoppers. Yeah. And yeah, it showed like them building the fake bird. And then yeah, then with the grasshoppers, it was like it was revealed, you know, from Hopper that the ants actually really outnumber them and he feels that the ants may actually you know, turn on the grasshoppers eventually. Yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah. Yeah, and then it showed, like, the bird being finished. And as, like, all the ants and warrior bugs were celebrating, eating, yeah, then P.T. actually came up in, like, a type of circus carriage. And then he came, like, to, like, recruit all of the circus bugs back. And then, yeah, that's when all the ants caught on that like Flick and the warriors were actually lying and that they weren't actually warriors but they were just for circus and yeah they yeah and then yeah they got after Flick for lying yeah the queen was just telling Flick that his plan was off and yeah and also Ada was also 
or angry at like for lying. And then, yeah, she just like like basically banished Flick from the air ant colony. And yeah, then the ants just desperately tried to gather the food for the grasshoppers because yeah, the new season was almost up and yeah, they knew that they were in trouble. So yeah, and then Flick took off with the circus bugs back to the circus. Yeah. And then, yeah, then the grasshoppers, then, then later on, they found that there was not a very good offering of the food. And then, yeah, then they just, like, ambushed the ant colony and they were trying to take control of it. Yeah, they were just ambushing all the ants. And they actually, like, took the queen. And, and yeah, they, she was staying with them. And, and yeah, then yeah, like grasshoppers were just chase, chasing down other ants, and yeah, then Dot actually got the other kids to hide in their quote-unquote clubhouse, which was in a flower. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah, Dot was just telling them they need help, help, and they have to do something. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and then Dot just went and looking for. Flick. Like, and, and yeah, then she then was finally had the ability to fly, and yeah, then she flew over to Flick, and yeah, she was telling Flick what was going on, and that he has to do something about it, and yeah, Flick was just, Flick just felt like his plan wasn't gonna work, and yeah, just thinking that all he causes was trouble, but yeah, then Dot then, and was able to convince Flick and the circus birds to come back and help save the colony. And yeah. And then, yeah, then, yeah. Yeah, then the circus bugs were able to, like, like, just lock P.T. in, like, the circus carriage. And yeah, they tried to just distract the grasshoppers by performing circus acts. Next, as Flick, Dot, and the other kid bugs tried to, uh, you know, control the fake bird that they made. And yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah, they... Then they used Ada as one of their trick for one of their tricks. Yeah, they just did something to make her, like, change. And, and yeah. And they actually were able to, like, actually take... Sneak her away from the grasshoppers. Hoppers. But then, yeah. But then Hopper and the other grasshoppers then eventually caught on that it was a trick. Heck yeah. And then yeah, then the real bird, well the fake bird then, then flew over and then yeah, it was scaring all the grasshoppers. And yeah, they were like sneaking off. Well, the, not sneaking off, they were starting to run. And then, but then yeah, P.T. eventually escaped from the carriage and yeah, he mistook the bird for being a real one, and yeah, he lit it on fire, and then yeah, it exploded. And yeah, it was then revealed to be fake. And yeah, and then yeah, then Hopper was just looking to see whose idea it was, and then yeah, Flick then told Hopper what says, and then yeah, Hopper then went, went after Flick and beat him up. Uh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, Hopper was saying that the ants are low life forms and they live to s serve the grasshoppers, but then Flick like, then responded that the ants are actually independent without helping the grasshoppers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, then it all the ants and the circus bugs then just just went after all the grasshoppers. And then yeah, it caused them all to leave, but Hopper was the only one that actually refused to leave. And then, yeah, all the ants then, like, put Hopper on a circus cannon, but then it started to rain. And then, then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, all the ants were just, like, trying to flee, but then, yeah, Hopper was, was then, like, accidentally shot out. And, yeah, he took... Yeah, then he snatched Flick and tried to fly off.
off and yeah, you know, the circus bugs were all trying to give chase and yeah. Then yeah, one of Opera's antennas was actually pulled off and then yeah. Ada was then and yeah, she then saved Flick. Flick and then yeah, Hopper then went after them, but then and yeah, Flick actually had had like Ada lead Hopper to a real bird's nest. Yes. And then yeah, then yeah, Hopper then had Flick like cornered against the nest, and then yeah, a real bird. A real bird then emerged. A hopper at first thought it was another fake, but then he realized it was real. And then yeah, then the bird then picked like picked up Hopper and then just fed it to the baby birds. <laughs> and then yeah, though yeah, then it showed like all the ants are you were using Flick's invention. And then yeah, and then yeah, Addo really pen told. Like how she really felt about him. Yeah, and then yeah, Flick was being declared a hero, the hero. Oh yeah, and then yeah, it, it showed like all the circus bugs, bugs being carried off, off and sent away. Hey, and yeah, the yeah, and then yeah, the ants then said goodbye, and yeah. Yeah, and the circus bugs were just saying they'd return the following year, similar to like the grasshoppers. Yeah. And then yeah, then yeah. And then as during all that, then Addo was then then given the crown as the queen of the ant colony, and yeah, Da was also given a crown as the heir to the throne. And then, yeah, it just show yeah. And then as the circus bugs were leaving. Even like Heimlich was like in a cocoon and, and becoming a butterfly, and then yeah, he <laughs> like came out of the cocoon, and he was like still just a caterpillar with very small butterfly wings. Yeah, and yeah, then like the like the other circus bugs then came and carried Eat Heimlich back up to their carriage, and then yeah, it just showed like Flick dot and out of just waving to the. Circus Bugs, and yeah, that's how the movie ended. So yeah. So yeah, 3.25 stars out of 4. Yeah, like I said, not really one of my personal favorite Pixar movies, but yeah, it is still a good movie. Alright, so yeah, that's also for my review of A Bug's Life. I hope you guys enjoyed. So yeah, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.